Hello fellow Peanuts fans, I'm Karen from CollectPeanuts.com. We're back today with this Canon calculator or electronic learning aid. I managed to get a couple batteries for it so you can see them right in there. We're going to explore these games and see how it does. So 5 plus 4 equal, where's the equals? <laughs> is that it? Nope. Maybe it's the st oh the start button. It says equals up there. Okay. Well, let's start with uh, whatever's in the manual. And I have done another video on this. I will link to it above that little thing that just popped out. And also there will be a link in the description below. Plus, don't forget to like and subscribe because you love Snoopy as much as I do. All right. We should be playing the hide and seek castle game now. Okay, let's let's press start and see how this game works. So, what plus 17 equals 13? I think that's what that means. Hopefully you can see it okay here. Play along at home. What is that, six? Judge? Oh, there you go! Blank plus zero equals three. Okay, this this might be too easy. Okay, we're purposefully gonna get this one wrong. <laughs> Let's get it wrong again. I wonder, can I make the drill level harder? Let's see if that works. Oh my. Um, 40 plus 2. Now there is a button on the back for the sound, I think. Let's try that out. Oh, let's see. 106. Technically minus 9. What is that? 97 or something. Oh, I got it right. Anyway, let's try a different game. I think we got the hang of that one. So if I do drill level, table, that gives us multiplication, forest. And then I just do three. And then start. Let's give it a shot. remember which teacher I had to learn multiplication tables with. She'd be uh, glad that I remember some stuff. This is actually pretty easy. I kind of wish it would bounce around so you wouldn't just be like, okay, what's 18 plus 3? Oh yeah, it's 21. But maybe that's how you learn. Where am I at? 27? Is it... Oh, I got 100%. See, we also have comparison country. Drill level. Game 1. Start. Oh, Woodstock's running around on his own. I, and I have no idea what I'm doing. To the instruction manual. Okay. Oh. I think I... Oh. I think Woodstock crashed. It totally says bonk in that corner. Okay, comparison country. This is a funny place. Even for Numberland, numbers pop up from the left and right. You compare them and decide which is bigger. <laughs> uh, oh 
my goodness, this is too easy. Oh, it has three speeds. Well, now, now we know what those buttons on the back are for. Well, we're gonna go full speed because this is an easy game. You got your, your two greater and less thans here, and then you got the equal in the middle. So, you just have to push those buttons. I got this. Let's do it. All right, now. Let's say start. Okay, equal. Um... Oh, my. They get bigger. <laughs> what? Seven plus seven? Oh, man! This is, this is, this gets harder. Here it was uh, making fun of this game, and then suddenly, I mean, I guess this isn't that hard. But if you're trying to do it quickly no I almost lost it on that one um nine minus four ah oh, shit <laughs> oh I got I got points you could like write down your high score and totally challenge your friends. I kind of like this one. This is my favorite game so far. It's like, it's quick paced. It actually makes you think. Oh my gosh, it looks like it gets harder. Wait. Oh no, that's a, that's a different thing. Never mind. It doesn't get harder. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm probably not going to play it a lot. But maybe I'll crave the simplicity of this tiny calculator. All right, here we have Ten Stadium. Listen, you can hear the cheering from Ten Stadium. The teams are ready and the game begins at last. Don't let the opposite team win. Crash into the opponent's team's numbers and zap out. And zap out it out of the game? That doesn't make sense. You have to crash into the opposite team's number with your player. Your player has to be the number that makes your opponent into a ten. Choose a button from 1 to 9. Your number then runs across the display from left to right. If your number is the correct one, it will make the number coming from the right disappear. The opposite team keeps putting new numbers into the game. If you don't knock them out quickly, then they'll chase you off the display. Okay, I get this. But we're not going to go at the fastest speed. Uh, let's, uh, let's do medium speed, just because this is kind of weird. Okay, drill, game two. Yep, we're in game two. And start. So I need a two, need a nine, eight, five, two, seven, Nine, ten, kind of. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it gets kind of fast because you keep thinking about it. Okay, I got 1,520. It's not... It, maybe it's... Maybe it's horrible. What's your high score on this game? Let me know in the comments. If you would love to try out this game and beat my high score of 1,520, let me know. Let's see what other features we can use. Well, I don't think we have any more games, so we're going to set the time on here. Just to give it a shot and... Maybe somebody without the manual needs a little bit of help. So if I set this here, it tells me what time it is, apparently. It thinks it's 12.23 a.m. So time set. Play. 
plus. Okay. Well, it's technically an. Okay, let's say create. So it's minus for PM. It does say PM right above the minus key. And then plus to set the time. That's actually pretty easy. What? Okay, here's a fun little Easter egg. So let's say we want to set the time to 4,900 hours and 30 minutes p.m., of course. Time. Oh, Woodstock crashes. You see that there? So just punch in the time, minus for p.m., then hit the plus. Oh my gosh, there's a stopwatch feature. Okay, time set. Okay, if you push the division key. Oh yeah, look at that. Stop. So you push it again to stop it, and then you can zero it out, and then you can do it again. Nice. That's pretty cool. I've never had a calculator that's also a stopwatch. You can use the countdown timer to make the buzzer go off after a certain number of seconds and or minutes. Okay, so if I push one zero, and then that's counting down 10 seconds, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh. oh, that would get really annoying in math class. What game would you have loved to have had back in the day to learn math better? Because I think this would have been kind of a fun thing to play, and you would have been learning math at the same time. Because this is from 1984, and that's pretty much pre-most handheld games. So yeah, this is a fun little thing. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to sponsor more videos like this, be sure to join us on Patreon. Also, like and subscribe because that is a big, big help. And if you want more Peanuts goodies, go down to, this, go down to the description below and you will see links to collectpeanuts.com and also our social channels. And leave a comment. Let me know how you think I'm doing here. Trying to do my outro and do math at the same time. I, I think I'm doing pretty good. I haven't missed one yet, but I'm certainly not speedy on either thing. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great week. Bye. All right. Is there another level? Okay, judge. These are just so easy. Can I turn the difficulty up here? Drill level. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no! How am I supposed to do that in my head? <sighs> okay, what's that, like, 100 and... 112? Oh, this is, this is really a stretch for me. Okay, so we've got... 91? Oh, that didn't... Come on, one. Get in there. Okay. We got uh, 161, I think. Yes. 92. 
anything better than I thought I would. Uh, 115. We can even see this. Fifty-three. 